Everybody in your life will have a turn back moment. No matter who you are, you're going to have such a period in your life where it seems like it's not working. You're going to have doubts. You're going to have a lot of trials and tribulations and challenges. And everybody has what's called a turn back moment. You always have a moment in your life where the direction you're going, you will have to make a decision to keep going or you turn back. The sad thing is the average person turns back. But think about this. If you're going somewhere and you turn back, you can never get there. If you wake up every day and go get in your car and say, I'm going to the store, and halfway to the store, you turn around, and then the next day, you go to the store and you turn around, you do realize that you'll never get to the store. So whatever you needed from the store now is even a greater need because you turned back. And every time you turn back, it does not change the need. So what kept me from going was, what kept me going was, I, re I created, I made turning back, giving up, never an option. And I had really dark moments, man, where I thought I was going. I just didn't think I was going to make it. I, I mean, where I am today, I didn't see it clearly at all. I had a lot of turn back moments. But you know what it was for me, man? Being successful is so hard, but I realized that not being successful was hard too. The difference between not being successful hard and trying to get successful and hard, if you're trying to get successful and it's hard, at least there's some payout. There's a payoff. If you hang in there, there's payoff. When you're not successful, it's hard. It's hard not having money. It's hard never knowing how to come up with your mortgage and your and your bond and your rent and your let. It's, it's hard not knowing that. Why, how you gonna feed your children? How you gonna pay your bills? It's hard, ain't it? So if it's hard that way, and it's hard being successful, I might as well deal with how hard it is to be successful, because at least one day, that could be a payout. If, if you just stay in the hard part of life of not being successful, ain't no payoff. There's no result for being poor. It's just mo po. You just po some mo. There's no payout. Just make the decision that you're not going to be poor anymore. You, you have the right. Don't matter how you were born. I, will, I was born very poor. My father made $5 a day. Five U.S. dollars a day. We had five children. That's poor in the United States. That's really poor. But I decided that was not for me. I'm not going to be poor. For what? I'm a Christian. God loves me and I love him. Why would I? If the Bible says he comes to give you life and give you life more abundantly, if I believe in God, then what am I abundant? I want my abundant. So I just ask him for it. And I work really hard. He going to give it to you. He's your father. If your children ask you for something, don't you try to give it to them? You go out of your way to make sure your children have everything they need so they're not embarrassed at the school. Your heavenly father the same way. But you have not because you ask not. You don't ask God can be rich. Can you be rich so you ain't rich? When you going to ask him? You ever asked him? I mean really, really asked him? And then did everything he told you to do to be rich? No, you haven't. You haven't. Because if you did it, you would be on your way. It's a decision, man. I'm not bragging. I'm telling you the truth. This is fact. You could be poor and become rich. What? It's not a magic trick. He's just waiting on you to ask him. Why don't you ask him? You think I'm playing? Try, I dare you. Try it. I dare you. I dare you. Try it. Believe in God. I dare you. Ask and believe and see if you don't receive. I dare you. 